Welcome. This game is designed to teach you the very basics of Japanese hiragana. You'll learn how to read and write all the hiragana characters during the course of your adventure. When your adventure is complete, you'll be ready to move on to more advanced Japanese studies. For now, let's begin. Ugh, it's cold. But, it's a beautiful in evening. Claire, what are you doing out here? Get out of the snow. Eric, I'm heading, to, uh, I'm heading to the tavern. Gotta get the chill out of my bones. I'll join you. Come on. For some reason, one of those tables has a full turkey and no one eating it. Ah, it's lovely and warm in here. Much better than being buried in snow, right? Haha. <laughs> You know how I am. I can't resist admiring the night sky. You haven't changed much these past few years, Claire. Ne neither have you, Eric. It's good to know I can always count on you to, uh, to come looking for me. You bet. Let's have a drink. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. Er... Ah, it's Leon. Hi. Mind if I join you for a drink? Um, Leon. Weren't you... Weren't you kicked out of out of the village? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was just a small misunderstanding. The elder, the elder thought I stole his prized pumpkins, but I didn't. I didn't steal them. It's all behind us now. He had a good old laugh about it before. Ha ha ha. But... But you baked pumpkin pie and gave it to everyone in the village. Exactly, that's baking, not stealing. Haha, <laughs> it's good to be back. Oh boy. Such a beautiful day. Clear skies, pure white snow all around. Simply wonderful. Since I have some errands, I better not tarry. Where should I go first? Excuse me, miss. May I have a moment? A stranger. Never seen him before. Hello, sir. How can I help you? Tell me something. Do you understand me when I say Konnichiwa? Er, no. I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. That's too bad. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I think that's what it says. What's with this guy? What's this strange language he's speaking? Uh, farewell, Sayonara. Ugh, magic. I can sense he's up to evil. I need to follow him. Ha <laughs> ha it's too easy to conquer tiny nations like this. There's no resistance. Stop. Haha, <laughs> why? You can't, you can't do this. I don't see anybody trying to stop me. You couldn't stop me even if, I, if you tried. Er, I'll wipe, wipe that smug look off your face. You're awfully brave, girl. However, you can't lay a finger on me. If you can't even understand Japanese, you can't hope to dispel my magic. I'm gonna use that ex as an excuse in the future. Japanese? Is he talking about the weird words he spoke before? Let's see what you can do against my hiragana warriors. Summoned allies. Ah and E. Enemy hiragana warrior strike. I'm being beat up by vowels! Uh, uh, they're strong. What the heck are these things? Uh, there's no way. I can't. Punch. Uh, I'll just punch this guy. Nope. Fortunately, I cannot speed up the, con the combat animations. It's useless. You surrender? See how your attacks have no effect on, on my Hiragana warriors? The only way you could ever defeat me is if you understood my language. Ha <laughs> but you'll never learn Japanese. It's time to finish this. Goodbye. I believe that is Sayonara. There's nobody else in my way. This village is as good as conquered. It's time to move on to the next helpless village. Ha 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 ha. I can't believe. It's so strong. 
Instead of beat him, I need to learn Japanese. Hmm. Several weeks have passed since the dreadful events in the village. Claire, our heroine, has spent countless hours helping rebuild the village. A mysterious Japanese mage left many of his hiragana warriors roaming the lands around the village. Claire has come up with a plan to defeat them. Okay, everybody. Today is the day we begin to fight back against hiragana warriors. I have spent a long time researching this Japanese language that we need to learn in order to dispel the mage's magic power. Once we start learning the language, we can begin to defeat the Hiragana warriors that have invaded the land. I sent a letter to the capital asking for uh, for help with our challenge. The Great Library is sending one of their best scholars to aid us. Ah, looks like she has just arrived. Hello. Hello. You must be Masaki. I'm Claire. It's great to meet you. Nice to meet you, Claire. I have been informed about your situation. Thank you for coming out to help us. You're very welcome. As you have probably heard, I am Japanese, just like the strange man that, uh, strange mage that caused the damage here. Please don't think we are similar in truth. He is an evil magician named Naburo. My people have been trying to defeat him for generations. As you have gathered, the only way to destroy Hiragana warriors, he summons, is using knowledge of the Japanese language. Starting today, I'll be your Japanese teacher. Thank you. Please tell us everything you know. Godly, first, let's head inside somewhere warm. In other words, that mage is practically a nobody back in Japan, because everyone knows Japanese there. Let's get started. Thank you all for volunteering to learn with Claire. No worries. I don't want to see this uh, town in trouble ever again. I'll learn Japanese and take down every single one of those Hiragana warriors. Thanks, Eric. I knew I could count on you. You can count on me too, you know. I want to learn Japanese and travel to Japan in the future. Good idea, Leon. Japan is an amazing place, full of beautiful scenery and wonderful people. And lovely ladies, I bet. Jeez, Leon, keep focus. Sorry. Okay. Attention, please. Firstly, I'm going to give you a rundown on what uh, we'll be learning. Please pay attention. You'll want to make sure you have a notebook and a pen handy. Taking notes is the first step to success. That means you, player. Go get a pen and notebook. I'll be waiting. I am not going to do that. Now, an introduction to the language. The Japanese language has a unique writing system made up of three different types of, of characters. These sets of characters are known as hiragana, katakana, and kanji. Hiragana is the best basic set of characters, and by using hiragana, you can form almost any sentence in Japanese. We will be focusing our efforts on hiragana during your adventure. The other two character sets are a bit different. Katakana used uh, almost exclusively to represent words from foreign languages. Kanji is a complex character set borrowed from Chinese picture symbols. Kanji is quite advanced, but learning is very rewarding. Back to Hiragana, there are 46 basic Hiragana characters, and each one is used to represent a unique sound or symbol. You can also make an additional 25 Hiragana characters by adding small strokes to specific characters. And we will learn this as we go. Learning a new language can be daunting. If you begin to feel overwhelmed, take a break and c come back with a refreshed mind. With persistence and bravery, you can learn all the hiragana. Remember to take lots of notes as we go. Revise your notes every day and you'll soon commit all the hiragana to memory. So I've gone over the uh, the initial 46 uh, over the past couple of weeks, um, but I've been kind of distracted and not been able to go further than that. Uh, there's actually pretty good web resources about learning hiragana. Um, Kind of using, focusing mostly on like using mnemonics and things like that to try to memorize symbols. Um, also, I've kind of had to memorize symbols as part of my work. Um, so, and a lot of my work kind of involves literacy nowadays. So, learning another language is just something for me to try to do. So, this game is more or less just to ensure at least once a week I, do, I, I look over this stuff. Okay, get your notebook and pen ready. No, we'll learn the first five here kind of characters right now. So the, the web resources I've been going over, they don't actually focus on teaching writing, uh, partially because digital resources, well, everything's digital nowadays. Eventually, they'll, I believe it's supposed to teach you typing. But for right now, I just need to recognize the symbols and what they're supposed to mean. I will go through each character individually and teach you how to write it and pronounce it. At the end of this chapter, we'll have a quiz, so do your best. And after the quiz, we'll travel outside the village and to, to fight some Hiragana warriors. Uh, so this game does actually try to make the sounds of the symbols, but for the life of me, I cannot figure out what 
volume setting is tied to the um, uh, to the quote unquote voice sounds. And I'm worried it's probably attached to something like the music, which is obsce obscenely loud and I had to turn down. Um, so I'll do my best to kind of pronounce them um, if you can't hear them. All right, after the quiz, we'll travel outside the village and fight some Hiragana warriors. The first five characters are known as short vowels. These short vowels are A, E, U, A, O. You can see them. Uh, see that I've written them above. Let's go through them one by one. This is A, or A. It's the equivalent of the vowel A in English. You pronounce this as A. Um, the, uh, the, the mnemonic for this is that you can actually kind of see the letter A in that kind of slanted angle in the center, and that's kind of how I find it. Ah is a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. Well, I'm not going to write it. <laughs> I'll type it in the future, but not, I'm not going to write it. One more time. Besides, it would not be very entertaining for you guys to just watch this in silence as I try to write something. Now it's your turn. It's a good idea to write the character multiple times. Write it small and large to get it perfect. Uh, here's some tips for you. The horizontal line is slightly curved. You should draw the uh, draw the character in three separate strokes. So we're just going to continue with the lesson because I can't hear the pronunciation anyway. Get ready for the next character. This is E or E. It's the equivalent of the vowel I in uh, in English. You pronounce it as E. E is a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. There's also multiple ways to write here, Ghana. Um, there's a online quiz you can take, and you can uh, set it to pretty much all types of writing, and some of them are very, very different. It's just kind of like, it's almost like handwriting styles, almost. Practice writing the character now. Some tips. The first line is a little slightly longer. Both lines are slightly curved. Get ready for the next character. This is U, or U, the equivalent of the vowel U in English. You pronounce this as U. U is a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. One more time. Practice writing the character now. Some tips. The whole character is, vertic uh, is vertically long. Make sure you tilt the top stroke properly. Get ready for the next character. Uh, this is E, or E, it, this equivalent, uh, it's the equivalent of the vowel E in English, you pronounce this as E. E is a short vowel, let's, let's practice writing it. One more time. Practice writing the character now, some tips, tilt the... Top stroke properly, the whole character should be made in just two strokes. Get ready for the next character. This is U, or U. It's the equivalent of the O in English. Oh, sorry, I, I mispronounced that. Uh, this is O, or O. It's the equivalent of the vowel O in English. You pronounce this as O. O is a, shout, a short vowel. Let's practice writing it. more time. Alright, practice writing the character down. Some tips. This one is tricky. Make it in just three strokes. The vertical line is in, to the top, of, uh, to the left of the character, not the, in the center. Oops, sorry. Continue. Wow, we have covered the first five hiragana. Good job so far. These five characters are A, E, U, A, and O. One of the basic vowels of the hiragana system. Think of them as the equivalents of English A, A, e, or A I, U, A, E, and O, respectively. Uh, what brings that brings us to the end of our first lesson? Would you like to see your progress? Yes, please. You obtained study guide one. Use this for the items needed to quickly revise this lesson. How did you go with the lesson? Good, I think. It seems like a lot to take in. Yes, I have given you quite a bit of information to remember. The best thing to do is practice writing and saying the characters out loud. Be sure to get the pronunciation perfect, as it will play a big part in forming Japanese words. Masaki, I have a couple of questions. 
Yeah, me too. I'm happy to answer your questions before we do the quiz. What do you want to know? Well, so far we've learned five characters, but it doesn't seem like I can make any Japanese words using these letters yet. What gives? Well, the letters we have learned are all vowels. In order to start making Japanese words, we need to learn some consonants as well. You'll learn some next lesson. Masaki, I'm having trouble writing the characters out. They're way different from, from English letters. What should I do? Practice makes perfect, Leon. The order of the strokes is probably the most important part of writing. Later on, you'll be able to re review this lesson, so watch the animation once more and memorize the order of the strokes. Any more questions, guys? All good, Claire. Thanks, Masaki. Great. Let's move on to our first quiz. Eep. I need to quiz you on what you've learned before I send you out to fight Hiragana Warriors. I have to make sure you're ready. Okay, here we go. Question one. What is the character? Uh, what is this character? That is A. Because it has that little a, little a in it. Correct. Well done. Question two. What is this character? This is A. I don't really remember the mnemonic for this one. Correct. Well done. Question three. What is this character? This is U. Sideways U, essentially. Correct. Well done. Question four. What is the character for the English vowel O? This one, you kind of see the O in this. Uh, like that little hoop part. So, there you go. That is O. Correct. Well done. Question five. What is the character for the English vowel, uh, vowel I or E? So, E. The mnemonic for this one was like a couple of eels. But I, I usually sometimes get thrown off by this one. Correct. Well done. Congratulations. You completed the first quiz. Yeah, woohoo! Good job, everyone. Heh, <laughs> easy. I'm proud of you all. I think you're ready to challenge the Hiragana warriors in battle. The Hiragana warriors surrounding the village are fairly weak. Using the knowledge you have now, you not now have, I'm confident you can defeat them. We'll go after the bigger and stronger Hiragana warriors after future lessons, one step at a time. Let's do this. Everybody, follow me to the village outskirts. Alright, time to explore the world. Bunch of stuff. Move your characters, use the arrow keys. I'm using WASD. You want to use, yeah, just lets you know. There's not really much customization. This is a freaking RPG Maker game, so it has its limitations. Uh, equip art, weapons and armor and use items, more blah blah blah. Make sure you save your game before quitting or you will lose your lesson progress. If you lose a battle, you will, you will have to reload from the last save point, so make sure you save oft often. Good luck. You can sense here Ghana warriors nearby. Everybody, be on your guard. Ah, uh, ooh, and O oh, have appeared. There they are, let's get them. Yeah! No, Eric, Leon, be careful! Wrong. Huh? We can't hurt them. Stay back, you can't just attack them head on. Uh oh. Eric and Leon were, were cap, uh, kidnapped by the foe. Two of the Hiragana warriors fled, carrying Eric and Leon with them. Oh no, what do we do, Misaki? Oh, sorry, Cat is being very distracting. Stay calm, listen carefully to my instructions, and we'll be able to take, da uh, take down this one. In order to defeat Hiragana warriors, we have to use our Japanese knowledge to hit them with their matching letter or character. For example, we're fighting against the character A ah, right now. This, that means you need, you need to hit it with the English equivalent character. Hmm, that's the letter A, right? Cat, get off the desk. <laughs> that's it. When it's our turn to attack, select English from the command menu, then find the right letter to use and select it to attack. If you get the right answer, you'll damage the enemy. If you get the wrong an answer, the enemy won't take any damage. You have to keep hitting the enemy with correct answer in order to defeat it. Got it. Let's do it. Take turns to do do do. Only damage with correct answers. Your characters have HP and MP, HP, blah blah blah. Use healing items or support skills. Magic points you can use it for support skills which I think just is for healing. And then select commands, blah, standard stuff. Select answer. Use support to do healing and curing. And just level up and improve stats and all that good stuff. I don't even know if she has support. She doesn't. Alright, answer. This is Ah. You have a healing spell. Alright. Ah. I wish you could up the, co the combat speed in this. But. Alright, 
keep hitting with R. We did it! Good job. But Eric and Leon, they got captured by those Hiragana warriors. Let's go after them. They can't have gotten got very far. Okay. Let's explore the forest and find them both. There's no time to waste. Claire, take these before you go. Huh? What are these funny-shaped bottles? These are our popular drink in Japan. Drink one of these Ramune, or Ramun. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that. To restore your health points. Don't be afraid to use it in a pinch. If one of, one of us falls in battle, I'll use one of these revives. They'll bring us back to fight and, and restore some HP. Got five, got three. Cool, thanks. You can use these and any other items we find during battle, or you can use items in the field by hitting the escape key to bring up the main menu. Also save the game. Alright. I hopefully won't need to use items that often, because that's not going to really do anything for learning this language. E appears. Claire, Claire's party was surprised. I didn't know you can even have sneak attacks. Alright, so E. So the letter I literally makes the E sound, and the letter E makes the A sound. Alright. Should have leveled us, hopefully. Nope, we're just short. Oh, there you are. You looked like a pile of hay. Huh. Where am I? You got cap captured by those Hiragana warriors. We luckily we managed to find you. Blast, well, that's awkward. Are you okay? Are you injured? I'm a little bruised. Hurt my arm a bit. We'll take it slow. You hang back for now. Claire and I will take care of any foes we encounter. Alright. Hey, thanks for rescuing me. No sweat. Let's go. There you are. Ugh, what happened? You got your butt kicked, that's what happened. How embarrassing. You feel okay? Are you hurt? I'm a little hurt. My leg is killing me. We'll take it slow. You hang back for now. Claire and I will take care of any foes we encounter. Okay. Thanks for coming to find me. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Let's go. Looks like everybody is calm. Uh, everybody's okay. Thank goodness. But there's still a few here gone warriors to clear out around here. We should head to the forest uh, exit north of here and check out what our enemies are, be are beyond. Okay, let's make our way north and defeat enemies on the way. Eric and Leon, hang back and watch how we do it. Will do. Roger. Alright. Just finding these one at a time, so E. Luckily, as we level up, our attack power will actually increase, so we don't have to constantly hit the same thing four times. But, you know, repetition is part of this. All right, we leveled up. Good for us. Keep on going. All right, uh, A and O. Looks like we got first strike. Okay, two shot at it now. And O. All right. That's the forest up exit up ahead. Then we made it. There are much stronger Hiragana warriors outside the forest. Seems like we've taken care of the hi remaining Hiragana warriors around here. What do we do now? We need to learn more about the brave uh, before we brave the dangers outside the forest. Let's head back to town and regroup and get ready for another study session. Great idea. I can't wait to learn even more. Yeah, we'll save. Uh, it's this one. Alright, so we're going to learn our second set of Hiragana characters. There's five new characters to learn in this lesson. I'll go through each character individually and teach you how to write it and pronounce it. At the end of this chapter, we'll have a quiz, so do your best. The following, uh, the characters we are learning in this lesson are Ka, Ki, Ku, Ke, and Ko. Notice how these are similar to our vowel sounds. You pronounce these syllables the way uh, the same way, only with a hard K in front. 
I'll pron pronounce each one for you as we uh, go so you can get the right idea. These characters are very commonly used in Japanese, since each character represents a syllable instead of a single letter. You can form full Japanese words quite quickly. Here's our first new character. This is ka, or ka. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. You pronounce this as ka. Let's practice writing it. I don't remember what the mnemonic is for this one. Alright, pay attention to how the lines tilt and make sure you place the third stroke in the right place. Get ready for the next character. Uh, this is ki or ki. It's a cons consonant uh, followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. You pronounce this as ki. Let's practice writing it. So this one kind of looks like a ki. And sometimes they leave like a gap for some reason. Practice writing the character now. Some tips. Uh, depending on the font and script, it can be written in three or four strokes. The tail can be split into two strokes in some fonts. Use the animated example as best practice. Yeah, there's some online stuff that will actually let you set what the, um, uh, the font or script is. And that actually makes some of the symbols look very, very different. Get ready for the next character. This is ku, or ku. It's a, con it's a consonant uh, followed by a vowel and makes up a single symbol. You pronounce this as ku. Cuckoo. Let's practice writing it. This one was essentially cuckoo bird, so that's like a, an open beak of a bird. It's written in just one stroke, the upper and lower half are the same length. Okay. This is K, or K. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a single uh, syllable. You pronounce this as K. Okay. Uh, so this one, uh, the mnemonic I was told was it, it's kind of shaped like a keg. Unfortunately, I still get this one mixed up with some of the other symbols. The third stroke is longer than the first. Be sure to cut for the third stroke as it finishes. This is ko, or ko. It's a consonant followed by a vowel and makes up a single syllable. You pronounce this as ko. Let's practice writing it. This one I tend to forget rather often. Practice writing the character. Make this character with just two strokes. That's it, we finished this set of hiragana. These five characters, uh, ka, ki, ku, ke, ko, are all com quite commonly used, so be sure to memorize them. Now that we've covered the characters, there's an interesting tidbit you should know. Uh, what would you think if I told you we could learn another five new symbols within a few minutes? You'd say I, I was crazy first. Uh, crazy, right? Well, I'll show you what I mean. Firstly, would you like to save your progress so far? Yes. So the online resource I did, they didn't actually start going to multiple sets until I think maybe the third or fourth one. So this one jumps to that pretty early. Oh, they're going to teach me Dokuten already? Alright, there's an amazing feature here on a writing uh, system called Dokuten or Tenten. Dokuten are little symbols that look like the above image. What are these little characters used for? Well, when you add them to another hiragana character, you can make an entirely new sound. Here's an example. Take ka and add the dakaten marks, and what do you uh, do? You get ga or ga. Wow. When you see a uh, hiragana you already know with the dakaten uh, symbol attached, you'll know that you need to pronounce it a bit differently. Any hiragana that starts with K will turn into a syllable starting with G. The G sound is always pronounced as a hard G. Don't be tempted to pronounce it like a J. I'll go over the, our five new characters and show you uh, show you what they become when you add Dakuten. So I actually have not learned any Dakutens. Uh I went purely over the just the basic uh, hiragana symbols. Nah. This is Ga, or Ga. You pronounce this as Ga. Uh, Write uh, ka as normal, then add your docketed marks in, in the position shown in the image above. Yeah. No, don't pronounce it because I can't hear you anyway. Practice writing ga in your notebook now. I don't have a notebook. Uh, this is gi or gi. Pronounce this as gi. 
uh, right key as normal, then add your docketed marks in the position uh, shown in the image above. Do you want me to pronounce it again? No. Practice writing gi in your notebook now. Uh, this is gu, or gu. You pronounce this as gu. Uh, write ku as normal, then add your docketed marks in the position. Alright. Practice writing gu in your notebook now. This is ge, or ge. You pronounce this as ge. Uh, write ge as normal. Or oh, sorry, write ke as normal, then add, add your docketed marks in the position shown in the image above. Okay. Practice writing get in your notebook now. And this is go or go. You pronounce this as go. Write co as normal, then add your docketed marks in this position shown in the image above. Now. Write, practice writing go in your notebook now. We've now finished this set. Many hiragana characters can have Dakotin attached to them, but not all of them. As we learn more characters, I'll teach you which ones can have Dakotin added. Alright, you obtain Study Guide 2. Use this from the Items menu to quickly revise this lesson. Great lesson today. I hope you've all taken a bit of information from this. Sure did, Misaki. Thanks to you, I know way more hiragana than before. I really like those Dakotin marks. Who knew it would be so easy to turn one sound into another? If we count all the hiragana we know now, including ones with Dakota, and we know 15. That's 15 different Japanese characters. Thanks, Misaki. I'm so glad you, you're all enjoying the lesson. But now it's quiz time. Question 1. What is this character? That is Ko. Correct. Well done. Question 2. What is this character? This is Ke. Correct. Well done. Uh, question 3. What is this character? That is Gi. The, the docketed marks. Correct, well done. Question four, what is the character for the English sound ka? That'll be the first one. Correct, well done. Question five, what is the character for the English sound ge? Uh, that'll be this one, because it's ke with a docketed marks. Correct, well done. Congratulations, you've completed the quiz. Let's take a break from our study for now. Head to town and relax. I'd recommend visiting the weapon shop that opened up recently. You might be able to purchase some new equipment for our next adventure. When you finish exploring the town, come find me and we'll continue our study. Alright, there's a shop here. Welcome. Ever since dangerous Hiragana warriors started roaming the land, I have set up a shop in this village selling weapons and armor for protection. If you see anything you like, please let me know. Alright, we have enough to buy... Various weapons. So we got Leon. Eric uses axes. Leon uses quarter stats. Misaki uses uh, katanas, and Claire uses fist. All right, we'll give this to Claire then. And then, of course, there's armor down there. I want better weapons so I can kill these things faster. Be sure to equip any weapons and armor you buy, or they're useless. Just wondering how much these are worth. Quite a bit, actually. I don't want to sell them, but I think I'll wait. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. And uh, hopefully every week I'll kind of review uh, a little uh, little bit of Hiragana each week. So, I am the Depressed Dior, and this was uh, Learn Japanese to Survive Hiragana Battle. See you guys later.